Earlier this month, Seminole baseball fans came together to honor Fred Flowers, the first African-American student athlete to wear the garnet and gold for Florida State University. Oh, everything has changed. I mean, the changes at Florida State University reflect the changes in the overall society. There are a lot of positive changes with the stadium, this facility, the growth of the university, and the diversity of the various athletic teams. An FSU baseball player in 1965, Flowers was honored more than 50 years later as FSU celebrated the Negro Baseball League. He also had the honor of throwing out the first pitch. My arm was intact when I, when I got the call that they wanted me to do this, and so I went into a little uh, quick spring training in the backyard, you know, so <laughs> practicing with my granddaughter. The Athletic Department and Black Alumni Association invited Flowers to take part in this important recognition. He even brought his sister, Dobby Lee Flowers, who is the first African-American homecoming princess at FSU. More than 50 years later, after he made history, Flowers is an active member in the FSU community. He served as one of the founders for Florida State University's Black Student Union, as well as the president. The Black Student Union was actually founded right after um, Martin Luther King's assassination. So during that time, being black athlete, being one of the founding members of the Black Student Union here on campus, and graduating as one of the first black people from FSU during that time. Definitely phenomenal, a huge inspiration. Student athletes were thrilled to meet Mr. Flowers and have the opportunity to listen to his story. He has changed the culture and allowed us to open up our um, team to everybody, which is the way it should be. To have him come back and him still want to be a part of this means, means a lot to us and it means a lot for the diversity of our program. I feel like being that we're coming up on our 50th year anniversary, to have individuals who are on monuments on campus be able to come back and share those experiences with us, talk to us about their experiences, and then we share our experiences with them, I feel like it pushes the agenda for, and it also um, lets people know that the tradition and the legacy of the organization does not die. Fred Flowers struggled during his time on the FSU baseball team during the Jim Crow era. However, today, he's excited to be back and to see the change that FSU has made. When we went through that experience, the few of us that were here, we didn't really realize the impact of what we were doing. But looking back 50 years later, I can really appreciate what we did. In the past, it was not that easy to be able to wear a jersey, to be able to play, and be able to do the things that you would like to do. So I think that to see an individual like that still living today and still thriving in all that he's doing, and being able to throw that first pitch again, just makes you smile because it shows that, you know, you can do anything that you put your mind to, regardless of the color of your skin. Although 50 years has passed, a lot has changed for the better. Flowers left for the game and people will always remain the same. I'm Taylor Knight for Seminole Sports Magazine.